If you're considering bringing your dog to Las Vegas, this video is for you. Good girls. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what you can do if you want to bring your dog to Vegas with you, particularly if you're driving to Los Angeles to Las Vegas. I'm going to talk about pit stops, where to stay, what to do, and pros and cons of staying at a hotel versus an Airbnb. So I mentioned in my last video that we did a road trip from Los Angeles to Las Vegas with a baby and two dogs. And I want to talk to you guys about my experience, where we stopped, where we stayed, and all that good stuff. So first and foremost is where to stop on the road if you are driving to Las Vegas. Particularly if you're leaving from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, there are a few pit stops that you can do with your dog. And it's really important for you to plan in advance where you want to stop because the pit stops can be kind of far apart. So if you want to not miss these pit stops, you really want to note them down. So the drive from Los Angeles to Las Vegas is about a four hour drive. If there's no traffic, there's always some traffic. So you got to plan accordingly. We did a few stops on the way there and on the way back, but I just want to mention each and every one of the stops so you can outweigh the pros and cons of each stop. The first stop is going to be Victorville Mall and you can stop there to do a bit of shopping, to stretch your legs. You can eat there as well. I saw some dogs in the mall. We did bring Herky and Milton in. We parked around the Macy's. We walked through Macy's and then there was a Barnes and Nobles there. We could grab some coffee for the rest of the ride. So it was a very nice pit stop. And since we were driving with the baby as well, it was really important for us to stop along the way to have him stretch his legs, get a little break from the car because we have a baby that doesn't really like the car. Herky and Milton do very well, so it's always a good pit stop for him and also for them. The second stop is called Eddie's World, and this is a really large gas station-like stop. It really has a lot of attractions for kids. It's really fun and colorful. You can also do a bit of shopping there. You can grab some food. We did grab lunch over there, and there was a quite a good selection of food. The bathrooms here are really clean, and they're big. There's a few patches where your dogs can go potty. So overall, this is a really good pit stop. You can also stop in Barstow along the way, and that's kind of a, a, a city, so you have a lot of food options. The other stop that I want to mention is called Alien Jerky Farm and this is a kind of a weird name. It's sort of an attraction so you can see a lot of um, fun things. It's very very alien themed as the name says. A drawback from this stop is that there's no changing station for the baby. So we did stop there. We intended on changing him but there was no changing station so we ended up having to change him in the car. For the dogs it's really good. They have little grass patches here and there so it's always good for them to stretch their legs here as well. And the last stop I want to mention is a very touristy and a very photogenic spot. It's called Seven Magic Mountain and it's really close to Las Vegas. So if you want to stop there, you're almost up in Las Vegas. This is about 25 minutes out of the strips. This is a bit harder to get to and from from the highway. Like it's not directly off of the highway because it is pretty big. It's a really nice architectural spot that you, that you can stop at. It's these really colorful blocks that you can see from the highway but when you get close to them you really realize how big they are and they're really nice to take pictures of and it's a nice area to walk your dogs around as well. Don't know if you guys remember we shot a commercial here for Canine Sports Sack a few years back and it's always a really nice memories for us to pass by here. Just be careful to not let your dogs off leash at Seven Magic Mountain because there are some rattlesnakes warnings. So always keep your dogs safe on leash or in a backpack. But this is an excellent spot for your dogs to stretch their legs because you can really walk around this area. As far as sites in Las Vegas, what can you do with your dog once you are in Las Vegas? So the first one that I want to mention, of course, is Seven Magic Mountain. This one is really fun. It is one of your pit stops if you want to stop. Uh, there on your drive to Las Vegas or on your drive back, but it's only 20 something minutes from the strip. So if you are staying in Las Vegas, you can always drive out here and make a little uh, adventure out of it. It doesn't really take long. So you can always come here with your dog, do a little photo session and go back to your hotel. Another thing you can do with your dog is take them shopping. A lot of hotels in Las Vegas are dog friendly and we always like to take the girls around the hotels. When we are in Las Vegas, just make sure that your dog is potty trained and they won't potty inside. Uh, we did take the girls to Mandalay Bay, the Vidara. Uh, you can take them to the Caesars. A lot of these hotels are dog friendly, so it's always fun to walk around in there. And the hotels here are so big, so you can always get a lot of exercise in 
for your dogs in the hotels. Aside from the hotels, which offer so many shopping options, you can literally spend a whole day in a Las Vegas hotel and casino. A lot of food options and a lot of shopping options, but you can also take them to the outlets. Las Vegas has a few outdoor malls that you can take your dogs around. I really like the premium outlets because you can walk your dogs outside and it's really fun to get some sunshine and to get some activity out as well as some shopping at the same time. So I really like the premium outlets and I really like Town Square as well. This is a really nice spot if you want to walk around outdoors. And another indoor mall that I like is Fashion Show Shopping Center. It's a pretty big shopping center. It's on a few different floors. So you can do a bit of shopping if you prefer going indoors and it's dog friendly. Couldn't have done this trip without the hands-free leash. As you can see, it is so useful when I have the baby and Herky and Milton. I really need my hands free. It allows me to do some shopping and some browsing and just allows me to have a lot more flexibility. So this is totally a must. It's from Kovology. We have a regular version and a rope leash version as well. And another site you can do is the classic Welcome to Las Vegas sign. This is a tourist must. I find it really fun. Look at this photo of me and Andy of 10 years ago. No dogs, no kids. And here we are with our fur babies and our baby 10 years later. It was very fun to revisit this exact sign 10 years later. There's usually a bit of a wait, but it's always there's always going to be somebody here that's going to help you take a photo and they always do a good job. So tipping is always appreciated on their part, but this is definitely something to do. As far as where to stay with your dog in Las Vegas, we stayed with the girls at a few different hotels on the strip off the strip but we also stayed at an airbnb so it depends on where you want to stay and what you want to do for your whole stay we did stay at the vidara hotel we did stay at the caesars on the strip outside the strip we stayed at the silver sevens um, all very nice uh, dog friendly options depending on your budget and where you are located depending on if you have a car or not but we also stayed at an airbnb at this latest trip so the pros and cons of both is that if you really want to be in the center of the attractions and all that, I would suggest staying at a hotel on the Strip. The Vidara and the Caesars are really top-notch hotels and facilities for you and your dog. It's really easy to get from one hotel to another from the Strip. And since the hotels are so big, you can even stay there and make a whole trip out of it, no problem. But if you are staying, let's say, at the Caesars with your dog, you can take them around the Caesars, around the Bellagio. There's a lot of things for you to do there. And at the... What the hell? Okay, so slightly different angle because my other tripod keeps giving me a hard time. So I'm going to finish the video with this angle, if you don't mind. So as I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying. So the reason why we stayed at an Airbnb at this time is because it's Oasis' first trip to Las Vegas. And we really need a full kitchen and we really need more than a hotel room when we're staying with a baby. So we opted for an Airbnb. It's off the strip, but it was really close. And since we had a car, it was really easy for us to get in and out of the strip go wherever we needed to go and this was very good for us because we had a washer and dryer in the house we had like four bedrooms in that whole house so it was very good for us my mom came with us too so we had plenty of space it was really good for the girls as well because they really enjoyed all the extra space they could run around more and it's in um a community so they were able to walk around there um more freely than on the strip so the pros and cons of staying at a hotel versus an Airbnb is that you do have more space and you do have more amenities available if you're staying in an Airbnb. If you are planning to stay for a longer period of time and let's say you need to do laundry, the Airbnb is always good. But if you want to stay on the strip, you're closer to the action, you're closer to the restaurants, to the shows, depending on what you want to do. Airbnb might be a good option for you or the hotel might be a good option for you. As far as hotels, of course, the Silver 7s is off the strip, so it's a more budget-friendly option. But if you want to stay on the strip, uh, the Videra is the newest hotel. It's really nice. It's dog-friendly. Or you have the Classic Caesars, which we all enjoyed all of our trips to Las Vegas. We're all fun for different reasons. You have a lot of options as far as accommodation when you want to bring your dog to Las Vegas. Be sure to check the dog policy. However, some hotels don't allow you to keep your dogs in the room if you are not in the room with them. Just make sure that you check all the information before booking to arrange your schedule accordingly. Uh, Herky and Milton and the baby, Airbnb was the best option for us. If it's just me and Andy, we like to stay on the strip and we like to stay um, closer to the action. 
And before having Oasis with just Hurricane Milton, staying in a hotel on the Strip is a great option. So overall, the pros and cons of bringing your dog to Las Vegas. I would say that you should choose the period of the year where you come. In the summer, it gets really, really hot. So be mindful of that. Dogs walking outside in the summer definitely need boots, especially midday. The cement and pavement can get really hot. So we're always very careful of putting boots on the girls when we bring them to Las Vegas. Another reason why you would like to put boots on them is that it gets really dirty. So if you're not going to bring boots on them and if you're going to have them walk around, just know that it's going to get really dirty. Vegas, for some reason, is super dusty and super dirty. Every time we just bring the girls outside, they are like completely black, like they are so dirty. So we just clean their paws very often. But that's another drawback of bringing dogs to Vegas. And although it is dog friendly, as in there's dog friendly accommodations and there are some dog friendly activities that you can do, Vegas overall is not the most dog friendly destination in the sense that most of the activities that you want to do in Vegas are not dog friendly. Does that make sense? Like a lot of people go to Vegas to party, to see shows, to go to restaurants, and all those you can't bring your dog to. Of course, you can't bring your dog to the pool. You can't bring your dog to restaurants. You can't bring your dogs to a show. So if you want to bring your dog to be with you during the trip, you can. However, it's not like you have a lot of activities to do with your dog. We do bring the girls to Las Vegas because we like to have them with us. And when we do go for work, for example, for some trade shows, for Super Zoo, those are our work events that we bring Hurricane and Milton to. And they just should be there for Super Zoo, for example. So we bring them for that reason. But we are also not the type to go party and to go drinking and to go to the pool. So we either go for the food or for work. So that's why we bring them and we always have a good time. Okay, the lighting is going to be all off. The sun is shining on my face right now. So I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video. It really helps us out. And if you're new, my name is Mai. This is Herky. This is Milton. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.